That's Let's coming. bring in MSNBC contributor and author of the book, How the Right Lost Its Mind, Charlie Sykes. And former Supreme Allied Commander of NATO, <laughs> retired four-star Navy Admiral James Tafridis. He's chief international analyst for NBC News. You know, Admiral, it really, it's not like Donald Trump is trying to prepare us for the horrible things he'll do when he's president. He is. He's praising Orban. He says, we need a strong man. He's telling us that. He says he's going to be a dictator on day one. He's telling us that. Here he's telling us he's going to encourage Vladimir Putin, a former Russian, a Soviet enemy, Vladimir Putin to, in, to, to just take yeah. over not only NATO, but other, I mean, not only Ukraine, but other NATO countries. I mean, talk, talk about the dangers of yeah. this kind of talk becoming mainstream in American politics. Terribly dangerous, and lives will be lost, um, particularly if he goes the next step and does something or attempts to do something truly foolish, ignorant, and that would be to pull out of NATO. I mean, let, let's just do the numbers for one second. NATO is 32 countries. It's 55% of the world's GDP. It's 3 million troops active duty, well-trained, competent, almost all volunteers. Uh, it's got a collective defense budget of a trillion dollars. And oh, by the way, on the point of defense budgets and back to the, sir, will you pay us, uh, defend us if we don't pay? Well, again, let's do the numbers for a minute. U.S. spends 700 billion a year on defense. The Europeans collectively spend over 300 billion. It's the second largest defense budget in the world. That's more than China spends. And by the way, it's three times what Russia spends. And then the other part, Joe, and your rendition of it was pretty accurate, is just the condescension, the arrogance. Mm. Uh, John Howman's exactly right. I, I've been to a million NATO summits. I've never heard a head of state call another head of state anything but by their first name. And so you see Donald Trump uh, treating NATO like it's a protection racket. You know, hey, you've got a nice little country here. Be a shame if something happened to it. Uh, it, it, it fails on every level, frankly.